If I am the beginning of who Tommy Chancey Castle Senior is, and that, and once I was um, attacked, and then I became King Tommy Chancey Castle Senior of Four Castles Incorporated, then am I not the Alpha and the Omega of? King Tommy Chance the Counselor Senior of Folk Counselor Incorporated. Like, how something became, wouldn't that be the beginning, the alpha? So now that I have became who I am, now how can I act like I'm not who I became, right? So wouldn't my alpha, which when I was born out of my mother, Queen Dolores Yvonne Rocker Castle, inside of Halifax Hospital in Daytona Beach, Florida, on January 8th in 1969 at 2.20 in the morning, wouldn't that be my alpha, which is something that is first beginning, right? See, wouldn't I be then the alpha wave of Tommy Chancey Castle Senior of Four Castles Incorporated? Like, wouldn't this be how I went from a nobody to somebody? <laughs> right? Like, how do how is a star made, which is a performer, right? Do the is the performer a star before the world know who the performer is or do the storm or do the star become an alpha wave and then at the at the climax of that wave is stardom right so it's a, a alpha wave is defined as a electronic rhythm of the brain with a frequency of approximately eight to 13 uh, cycles per second that is often associated with a state of wakeful relaxation. See what I'm saying? So now, once I made it to myself, then I was able to relax because now I know that I am who I thought I was. See, I'm saying, should I apologize to you for being me? Then when then would I be able to relax because I have finally become who I always knew I was? So now you're gonna take the prosperity away because you don't wanna accept that I am who I have proven myself to be in the place way things of this nature is proven in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. And then I did it again in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. So now, if Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee became the foundation for which Christianity was built on, right? Well, did you build it on his life or your crime, which is his crucifixion? But according to your worship practices, you're more thankful for his blood than his breath. See, so that's why Christianity is guilty of murder because they didn't breathe life into Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. They took life from Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee and then they blow breath into Jesus Christ. See, so just like they, they shot a bullet into Dr. Martin Luther King but then they made him a holiday. They shot bullets in to minister Malcolm X and then they named the street after him, right? See, Mr. Fred Hamptons, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's a street named after him. So 
see how they turn you into something that's not a threat no more. See, like when you in the flesh, when those great men were, were in the flesh, they persecuted them until death. They was not able to live a normal life. See, so, see, when you rise to the level of yourself, then you rise above the level of other people, right? Now, those people who was at a level that they shouldn't have been at, now is trying to protect the level that they shouldn't be at. So now they are now being judged by the same form of judgment that they met. So now I'm going to get the, um, I'm going to get, well, I'm going to get the Quran. And this is chapter six of the Shihi International Version of the Holy Quran. Um, uh, one, uh, verses 158 to, uh, man, I didn't even proofread this, so, boy, so we probably gonna have some boogeyman in here. <laughs> 158 to uh, 165. I should have proofread it, but hey, man, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it a shot. So it says, this is, uh, like I say, Shihid International Version of the Holy Quran, chapter six, verses 158. And it said, do they then wait for anything except that the angel should come to them or your Lord should come or that they come some of the signs, those denoting the approach of the last hour in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. See, so now, if you all was waiting, then you miss your court date. See, if, now this say, do they then wait in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world for anything except that angels should come to them in hoods, projects, communities, uh, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, or your Lord in hoods, projects, communities, Schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world should come, or that they come some sign or some of these signs in the hood, in the project, in communities, in schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world. So say if I did not have an alpha, right? Then how can I then have a coronation, which is crowning me king in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning. So if I wasn't born out of my mother in Halifax hospital in the state of Florida, on January 8th, 1969, at 2.20 in the afternoon, then how could I walk into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida and defend my alpha in my omega when I then transcended my title from Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior, to King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated in accordance with the same constitution that allowed me to become Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior. See, so that same constitution, once I defended it, it elevated me to, to who I know I was, the born, a born king. Now, 
I'm not your king. I'm not your God. I'm my king. I'm my God. And I shared my king and my God with my great, 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 great grandchildren on until infinity, right? But because I come from the projects and I come from the hoods and I come from communities that, that were struggling financially, then I tried to give my way of financial uh, sovereignty to those communities that I had lived and worked in. See, I did not want to leave what made me in the position it was in because I saw what position it was in as I was making myself King Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Four Castles Incorporated. Because when I was 25 years old, the United States Postal Service attacked me and I went back and worked for them. So I had to work my way in position to then become who I knew I was. So that's what I'm saying. How can you down me for knowing who I am and you don't down yourself for not knowing who Jesus is? Because now you in the wrong spot. See, you supposed to be in court now proving that you are a follower of, of Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. See, but what you're doing is proving that you are a follower of Jesus Christ. That's the spiritual uh, version of Christianity. See, that's why you can continue to kill Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. See, you kill the flesh and the flesh is the image of Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee because he is of flesh. Now, the one that you serve is the one that is up in heaven. See, that's why he couldn't come back to court. But why, see, my evidence should be in court forevermore because I wrote my own motion. I filed my own case in self-defense of my lawyer, Bill Hurd's lawyers, the United States Postal Service, see the judges, citizens, whomever is my adversary. So now, this is so of you, of, of your Lord. The day that some of the signs of your Lord will come, no soul will benefit from its faith as long as it had not believed before or had earned through its faith some, some good, say, wait indeed we also are waiting see see i'm waiting in this federal in the civil and criminal courthouses in seminole and orange counties in the state of florida ever since august 12th in 2008 at 10 40 in the morning and as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of florida ever since february 20th in 2018 at 9 20 in the morning so see 158 Chapter eight, one. I mean, excuse me. Chapter six in the Shehi International Version of the of the Noble Quran. That's how I wrote it, but that's the Holy Quran, um, verse one fifty eight. So now it say, "Do they then wait for anything?" So that's you and I. See, because now I'm waiting on justice, and you waiting on whatever you waiting on. See, they then wait for anything. See. I don't know what you waiting on, but I'm waiting on justice, except that the angels shall come to them. So see, you waiting on a spiritual sign. And I'm saying, well, what's more spiritual than the truth? See, the truth is a body of real things, events, and facts. So if you waiting on anything, you should have been waiting on the event that then proves the facts you see what I'm saying? Are the real things that transpired before you had knowledge of what even was going on. See, so now I'm able to come to you and your understanding and say, see, you waiting as I wait. And this is what the Prophet Muhammad said was going to be. 
do they then wait for anything except that the angel should come to them or your Lord should come or that there should come some of these signs of your Lord? The day that some of the signs of your Lord will come, no soul will benefit from its faith as long as it had not believed before or have earned through its faith some good, say, wait. Indeed, we also are waiting. Now, this is 159. Indeed, those who have divided their religion and become sex, you, O Muhammad, are not associated with them in anything. Their affairs is only left to Allah. Then he will inform them about what they used to do in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. So see, you have missed your court date on September 1st at, at 7.48 in the morning, September 1st in 2023. If I did, if I fulfilled... Um, If I fulfill chapter uh, 159, showing you that you have divided your religions and you have become sex, you are Crips, Bloods, Democrats, Republicans, that's a sect. See, you are a, a Baptist, you Muslim, you Hindu, you do Judaism. See, so I am just the truth, right? I'm a person who had to go in the court and and reveal the evil that tried to make him evil and now all this evil surrounds me see so now i have to go and show you that you are divided in your religion and you have become sex and that the prophet muhammad is not associated with you in anything see and see now your affairs was handled by me in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as inside of the uh, federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. But still on September 1st in 2023 at 7 uh, what, 49 in the morning, I am still denied of who I am. I'm being denied of who I am because you have divided your religion <laughs> and you are in sex. See, so who are violating the law? Me or you all? But you all say you read to show yourselves approved. This is 160. Whoever comes on the day of judgment, see whoever, that's Tommy, that's first, it was Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated. But I went in, not as a, because I didn't want to go the military route. So I went in as a citizen. I went with my citizen name, Tommy Chancey Council Senior. I didn't go with petty officer because I just, I'm like, hey, man, you know, let's not make this get out of hand. You know what I'm saying? You know who I am because once you run my social security number, you know I'm a veteran. So then, so now once they violated my basic rights, right, that is afforded to me by uh, the Florida Constitution, right? See, so this is what I'm letting y'all know. See, this, this is all legal, what I'm talking about. You talking spiritual. I'm saying legal, but I'm also can go in the spiritual realm and follow you in there too. See, but you can't come in the court with me or you won't because you done missed your court date. <laughs> so you already know what's going, uh, what your fate is in, in the civil and criminal courthouses and similar in Orange Counties in the state of Florida because I use the... Florida Constitution Section 2, and I defended my wife and, and, I ba and my daughter and son basic rights and our corporation with this one section 
of the Florida Constitution, just one. See, that's what I'm saying. Section 2, basic rights. All natural persons, female and male alike, are equal before the law and have inalienable rights, among which are the right to enjoy and defend life and, and uh, liberty, to pursue happiness, to be rewarded for industry, and to acquire, possess, protect property. No person shall be deprived of any right because of race, religion, national origin, or physical disability in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. See, I don't need nobody to witness for me because history is my witness. See, my historical uh, record is 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 a, in chronological order in the significant events that, that affects the state of Florida, the United States, and every state in the United States and its territories, as well as every country around the world. And I brought everybody in through that narrow gate in the civil and criminal courthouse. You see, so I made all of that stuff that were wide open. I made you have to come through that eye of a needle. <laughs> see, you now the whole world got to come and come through that through that courthouse. See, so you know that you done missed history's court date. So now you are now wasting my life's time. See, so that's why now you know that C-160, see whomever come on the day of judgment with a good deed will have 10 times the light thereof to his credit. So see, that's why you all taking my credit away. You, you, you're taking my street cred, you took my credit from my family, now they don't believe in me, none of these things. But see, all of that is temporary because my worth is me and I am the value of my worth. So see, this content is now monetary. I can monetize on who I am and I have um, all legal rights to me. I trademark my image, my likeness. You can't even use it without it being a crime. So see, if you using my videos, you gotta pay me. If not, I'm coming to get my money. If not in this life, the next. So see, I'm saying, see, like y'all, these churches robbing Jesus and they robbing the Prophet Muhammad because they're, they're making money off of what these great men did, right? And said, right? And they're selling it as if they are the followers of these great men, but they supposed to be examples of the recipe that these great men left. See, that's what y'all not understanding. They are supposed to become the image of what they're teaching because that is the recipe for salvation. So if you're not doing the work, then you are nothing more than an entertainer. You're entertaining. And that's why there is no, that's why Jesus said that there, um, there is no fruit on your tree. Your tree is barren because your lesson has no substance. See, you're just entertaining. See, what I'm doing is I am elevating the minds of those that I am teaching. See, I am saying I am the standard. I am who you could be if you chose to be who you are. See, I'm saying never let nobody change you. You change everybody. See what I'm saying? Because if they don't know and you know, why would you give up what you know when you know they don't know? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Because you know. You understand what I'm saying? So if I give up on what I know, I can't teach you nothing. That's what I'm telling my daughter. That's what I'm telling my son. See, we, we and my wife, right? I would rather us look like we fail than to, to go and make a deal with the people who made me fail. And now if they do it right, the next time 
it would have been my fault for giving them that time. So see, what I did is I nipped it in the bud the first time. So it'll never be a second time. See what I'm saying? So now, okay, it says now, okay, this 160, it says whoever come on the day of judgment with a good deed will have 10 times the like thereof to his credit. And whoever comes with an evil deal, deed, excuse me, will not be recompensed except the like thereof. See, so that means your recompense means your pay. You're you going to get what you do too. See, and that's what the state of Florida's representatives have now made you all responsible for their sins. See, because they did it in the name of the state of Florida. So now recompense, right? Okay, let me let me see. Recompense. I was right. So recompense. To give something to by way of compensation as for a service rendered or damages incurred. So see, when I hit them with Amendment 14, Section 4, so let me take you there. See, this is this is a lesson. This is a civics lesson. This is a history lesson. See, that's why I'm saying, how many bodies am I? See, you can do something to my physical body, but when you when my legal body catch a hold to you, and my historical body catch a hold to you, and my biblical body, see, I'm getting you coming and going. See, you just taking the time away from my image. But what about my legal body? What about my historical body? What about my biblical body? What about my religious body? What about my spiritual body? What about my financial body? What about my mental body? And what about my federal body? See, I'm in all these dimensions. And I'm also, see, and then I'm in the written word. You see what I'm saying? Because, see, I'm coming and getting your debt with your laws, see, with Amendment 14, Section 4. See, so now, this is what I'm doing with um, what the Prophet Muhammad said, where I'm supposed to get a hundredfold from what you, t um, tenfold, t see, that's what, of, of a light, that's what the Prophet Muhammad said. And now he said that if you had an evil deed, see, and this how this double-edged sword is I'm fulfilling that passage with this law. Amendment 14 to the Florida Constitution, Section 4. It says the validity of the public debt of the United States authorized by law, including debts incurred for payments of pensions and bounties for services in suppressing insurrection or rebellion shall not be questioned. But neither the United States nor any state shall assume or pay any debt or obligation incurred in aid of insurrection or rebellion against the United States or any claim for the loss of emancipation of any slave. But all such debts, obligations, and claims shall be held illegal and void. So see, now I got them legally. That's my legal body. Now I have them religiously right here. See, it say, whoever come on the day of judgment with a good deed will have 10 times the like thereof. So see, right there, I was a millionaire. So that's $10 million right there. But what about my 21 condo hotel? They supposed to give me 10 times that. <laughs> see, so, and it keep going and going to, so see, to his credit. So that's that what I had to my credit. And now whoever comes with an evil deed would not be recompensed except the like thereof. So that means everything you did illegally to me would then be paid back to you. And they will not be and they will not be wronged, treated unjustly. See? So now, because you did what you did to me and I counted you, now what you did to me for to happen to you, state of Florida, United States of America, world. See, because now what you profess to believe, I'm now using against you, and I'm supposed to get ten times what you got because you got what you have illegally see that's your illegal deeds any islamic country any any believer in the prophet muhammad 
how do you have wealth that I do not have? And I am, it say, whoever come on the day of judgment, that was inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. And that's to my credit. Now, where is your credit? See, anything you had after that was to my credit. So now you holding on to my credit according to what you believe. Now, 106, uh, uh, 106 says, say, indeed, my Lord has guided me to a straight path, a correct religion, the way of Abraham, inclining towards truth. And he was not among those who associated others with Allah in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. That is when I received my crown for being the born king, not the risen one. I was born and then I was given a test and I passed the test, and then the judges who gave me the test flee. They left me in court by myself. <laughs> then they act like they were still judges. They just kept acting like they, you know, and I'm saying, hey, man, the world unchanged. I own it. I own it. And they, oh, I'm going to buy it. I'm going I'm to do it. And I'm saying, okay, well, let me go to court. I get it to you. See, I get it to you. But they thinking, I'm tripping. I'm saying, well, how is history made? But look, okay, it's getting kind of long. So uh, 162, say indeed my prayer, my rights of sacrifice, my living and my dying are for Allah, Lord of the worlds, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. And then again in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. That's judgment day. What else do I have to do to prove that I am who I am? Now, why don't you come to court and prove that I'm not who I have already proven myself to be? Don't just say I'm not. Come to court and prove it. I had to go to court to prove that I am. Why don't you come to court and prove that I'm not? You got all the information here. I got to get this and have enough faith in myself to know that I did it. Like this 163, no partner has he. <laughs> See, no, you, I don't have a partner in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida. Every partner I had left me. See, so I have no partner. And this I have been commanded, and I am the first among you of the Muslims, i.e. those who submit to the will of Allah in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. How am I not the first to submit to myself? I don't believe in this, but you do. So how am I not Allah to you if I don't believe in this, but yet I have no partner. Like he said, no partner has he. Who is my partner in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida? Who is my partner in the, in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida? I stand alone. Me and the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, and, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964. We're in their own, I'm the only human being standing with them. They standing with me, standing against everybody else. But you say I'm not who I am. And then one, uh, 164 say, Say it is other than Allah I should desire as a Lord while he is the Lord of all things. And every soul earns not blame except against itself and no bearer of burdens will bear the burdens of another. Then to your Lord is your return and he will inform you concerning that over which you used to defer. 
165. And it is he who has made you successes upon the earth and has raised some of you above others in degrees of rank that he may try you through what he has given you. Indeed, your Lord is swift in penalty, but indeed he is forgiving and merciful in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district, district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. Now that's when I see he say he has given you indeed your Lord is swift in penalty. See, so that's when I gave them the penalty and I then offered you and your children the blessing. But since you rejected me, now I can reject you and your children according to the Bible. See, now this is the Quran. Now I'm going to next, I'm going to go and separate the sheep from the goats with the Bible. Right? So now I'm separating the disbelievers from the believers with the prophet Muhammad as the as the uh sword right so now i'm gonna go get the sword because we in the spiritual world and now you dealing with my spiritual body right since y'all don't want to go to court with my human body now i'm coming into your world and i'm using and now you dealing with my spiritual body and then i'm coming in my biblical body so i can get you in your world biblically religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, federally, legally. See, I'm, I'm in your world and I'm just, I'm coming at you every word and any word you use, I'm using back to the, to cut you in two. See, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting you spiritually and I'm, 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 I'm destroying you biblically and then I'm, uh, I'm, I'm financially destroying you for generations. Like, I'm making sure that you will never make another penny on the name of anybody because you are not worthy of a penny. You. See, and so now since you have lied in the name of everything holy, now you are now sentenced to everything righteous. See, because you are sentenced to the truth by the bearer of it. See, so now you can't run. You can't hide. You can't, you, it's nothing you can do, man. It's nothing you, it's no way you can go where I'm not. <laughs> See, it's nowhere you can go where I'm not gonna be. Right, and now, okay, now, and, and now I'm gonna come back in Revelations 22, um, six, through um, 17, and this way I'm talking about the Alpha. This is where it's talking about the Alpha. And wait a minute, is it Alpha and Omega here? Oh, let me see. I think, wait a minute, I don't know. This is it, yeah, this is it right here. But I'm, this, yeah, this is it. I'm coming back with uh, Revelations 22, but I don't know if it's the Alpha and Omega, but, um. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It's 13. Man, I'm getting too long here. But okay, it's, uh, yeah, I'm coming back. If you come back to the next one, I'm going to then use Revelations 12, the Holy Bible. This is the Quran for for those who believe in, in the Prophet Muhammad. So I'm showing that they say if two or more agree. So I'm showing that biblically, the Prophet Muhammad agree with me because his testimony back then is now describing the situation on both sides. Not just me, but the other person too. So see, I get 10 times credit, they get 10 times the punishment. 